Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a lookbook. A lot of you guys have requested me to do a winter lookbook so we decided to put together some of my favourite outfits and combinations that I've been wearing throughout fall this year. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I've put together a few outfits and one thing I love doing in winter is layering, particularly when it's very cold. I try my hardest not to look like a sack of potatoes but sometimes it just happens. I've put together some evening outfits as well as daytime outfits. A majority of the time I will just be in an oversized sweatshirt and jeans and trainers, sometimes my new moon boots, but I've tried to make these outfits as interesting as possible for when I do actually decide to leave my house and not just go to Harrods and bum around. So these next few outfits are outfits for different occasions and I hope you guys like them. Everything is linked down below and I'm going to be talking you through all of them. So my first outfit is an outfit which I genuinely really love this combination. I love wearing my Givenchy boots, they're probably one of my favourite investment pieces. I wear them to death throughout fall as well as winter as well as spring because they're just so diverse. They look great with jeans but particularly I love wearing them with skirts. And I'm wearing one of my favourite pieces for all the season. It is a houndstooth tartan kind of plaid skirt. It's a schoolgirl kind of skirt from a brand called Petite, which is one of my favourite brands. Obviously, as you guys know, Petite clothing is designed for people who are my height. <laughs> um, so this brand actually basically creates clothes for women less than five for, I think if I'm not mistaken so amazing they've got shorter lengths for dresses and skirts and this particular skirt is perfect it fits perfectly around my waist I'm wearing an extra small it's so cute so I've just put on a pair of black tights and for this particular video I'm wearing an H&M cut out jumper you can find it in the description box down below and my favorite H&M biker jacket which is 100% real leather and I've had it for almost six years now it has done me so well and it doesn't even look bad like I genuinely love this jacket when I first bought it I actually wore it to death and I'm surprised I still have it considering it's H&M I would not have expected it to last this long but it has honestly lasted so long obviously I've paired this outfit with a very slouchy old Kelly so this is my Hermes Kelly well it's actually my sister's but I'm just gonna take it and for when it does get a bit too cold and a jacket doesn't cut it, I will put on my favourite crop jumper. This particular jumper is from a brand called Redone. It's amazing, it's a wool blend and it comes in a few different colours but I've been living in this jumper and I definitely need to get more colours of it because it's so cute. My next outfit is something I would probably wear to a dinner or a lunch. It is my Topshop Sheer Mesh High Neck Top with cashmere joggers from the outlet you guys have probably seen these in my recent haul videos but these two items i love particularly together to spice it up a bit i added a jacket this is a boucle jacket from zara if i'm not mistaken but you can find alternatives online and my favorite louboutin heels these are the pigal folies in 100 millimeters and they are suede but i do believe this outfit can look so bomb with a pair of like Manolos. Unfortunately, I haven't filmed my unboxing of my Manolos yet, so I couldn't use them in this video, but I definitely think they would look great with this outfit. The next outfit features my favourite boots again, the Givenchy boots, and my favourite jeans. Because I'm small, I find it really hard to find jeans that fit perfectly, but the Topshop Joni jeans and the Super Power Hold ones are fantastic. They don't last long because the colour does run, but they fit like a glove. They're honestly like wearing leggings, but not. I've also paired it with my high neck mesh top because this top goes with everything. And underneath, I'm actually just wearing a lace bra, but you can also put this on with maybe a nude bodysuit. That could also look cute too, but I just thought if this is a going out outfit, I'll definitely put on something a bit sexier. And obviously my favorite leather jacket. And beanie, I've been living in this beanie this entire season. It's honestly saved me so many outfits and it's kept me warm. It definitely has kept me warm. I've traded in my Gucci cap for a cashmere beanie. <laughs> and obviously I pair this outfit with my favorite Chanel bag. This is the jumbo bag, so yeah, that's why it looks huge on me. My next outfit is one of my other favorites. I actually wore this to dinner 
recently. It is the Sank a Set top from the outlet. I will link it down below. And my favourite skirt from Petite. This is another favourite of mine which they recently launched. It is so cute. It's got these really gorgeous gold buttons and just fits like a glove. I paired this outfit with a pair of tights because it is cold and I don't have the balls to wear it out bare-legged because it is freezing. I would also pair this outfit with maybe my fierce Christian Louboutin boots but for this particular occasion I didn't feel boots would really go with it. I did actually just wear the Pig Al Folies in 100mm because they're comfortable and easy to wear. Next outfit is something super casual. It is my favourite Ralph Lauren oversized cricket sweater with a pair of leather leggings which I've been actually lowing in for winter and my moon boots. I love these boots. If you guys are interested in wearing chunky boots and are cold but don't want to wear Ugg boots, these are great for an alternative idea. I love them. I feel like they've just got a bit more class to them than Ugg boots do and they look cute. Honestly, these are so cute. I wear them with like jeans, leather leggings and like an oversized jumper all the time. It's like my favourite outfit to go and wear, literally. I really don't care about body hugging stuff when it comes to winter because it's just so cold. I do not care if I look like a potato most of the time. But sometimes you want to look nice, which is why I went for the next outfit. So the next outfit is something which I really love. I feel like it's it can be casual, but it can also be semi-formal and can be worn to dinner. So for the beginning of this video, I'm actually just wearing it with my Christian Louboutin trainers. Even though these pants are long, they fit perfectly with my trainers. These trousers are also from the brand Petite. They come in black too, but I've only got the white ones right now and I love them. I love that I can also wear them with heels and not have them be too short. So if you're five foot, these are like perfect or just below five four. And obviously, I wanted to wear them with a jumper, so I put on a jumper because it's going to get cold. And if I felt like layering a tiny bit more, I'm going to put on my fur gilet. This is actually Lise's, which I stole from a cupboard, but it went well, so I decided to wear it. For the evening time, if I don't want to wear flats, I can put on a pair of heels. I'm wearing the Jonatinas from Christian Louboutin, which, as you guys know, are one of my favourite heels. They're so comfortable. They're almost as comfortable as the Gian Vito Rossi's, but I love these because they have red bottoms and I'm... Yeah, I'm tacky like that. <laughs> so, yeah. And the great thing about this outfit is it doesn't matter how many layers you put on and take off, they look great with both heels as well as flats, which is why I am stripping and putting more clothes on at the same time. Next is an outfit you've probably seen on my Instagram. It is jeans, my oversized Eero jacket, which I personally love. I love Eero. They do some great oversized and just great outerwear in general. And cashmere. I love cashmere because it doesn't mean I have to wear too many layers. I can wear a thin thermal underneath and just put on a cashmere jumper and be good to go for the whole day. A um, majority of the time, I will just wear a cashmere jumper, maybe like um, a scarf without a jacket. But sometimes I'll put on a jacket because in this video, I'm not actually wearing a tank top underneath. So it is backless, which is why I do genuinely love this piece. It's something you can wear in the evening as well as in the daytime. And my favourite black biker jacket from H&M, as I mentioned, with my favourite Christian Louboutin sneakers, which I definitely need to repurchase initially. These sneakers were not comfortable. They were so uncomfortable and so painful. I considered selling them. I was like, they're just, they're too much. My feet are getting blistered every time I wear them. But once I endured the pain for a few wears, they then became extremely comfortable. And now they're my go-to shoes. So I'm definitely considering purchasing a second pair because unfortunately these have got a bit tatty and I'm not very good with maintenance. But possibly with a quick polish and wash, they'll look good as new. But you can never have too many shoes, particularly shoes that you wear often. If I genuinely love something, I know I said genuinely a lot. You guys probably know this, if you've been watching my videos for a few years now, you'll know when I really like something, I'll get it in as many colours as possible or repurchase the same thing because why not, just in case it goes out. <laughs> so my next outfit is 
As I mentioned, one of my favorite go-tos, jeans, oversized jumper, and my moon boots. Super casual. This is probably something I'd wear to the grocery store, I'm not gonna lie. Unfortunately, this isn't a really flattering outfit, I don't personally feel, but, you know, keeps me warm, does the job. And I personally love these oversized knits. I love balloon sleeves currently. It doesn't really do me much because I'm very small, so it just makes me look big on top, but it's not bad. My next outfit is another one of my favorites i can't lie i've said that for almost everyone but cashmere joggers chunky knit and my fur gilet well elise's fur gilet and a beanie and obviously heels it can be worn during the day to like a lunch or it can even be worn in the evening but that is a great thing about cashmere joggers you can wear them during the day casually or you can wear them in the evening because cashmere they're luxury i will actually list some of my favorite cashmere brands and joggers down below if you're not looking to spend hundreds of pounds on cashmere you can actually get some stuff for less than £50. I know that Uniqlo do cashmere jumpers for about £49.99. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but you can get cheap cashmere. Cashmere blends even do well. So yeah. And if I don't feel like wearing the oversized fur thing, then I can put on my leather jacket. Everyone needs a leather jacket in their wardrobe. This particular one is honestly, it's my favourite. I can never be in London without it. Those are all my outfits and I hope I gave you guys some inspiration for the season. I know it's almost ending but it's still pretty cold in London and I know it's a bit chilly in Dubai now. I will be heading back soon so hopefully these outfits will keep me going. You can literally wear thermals under all of these outfits if you don't feel like they're warm enough but these are some of the outfits I've been wearing and unfortunately haven't had a chance to photograph so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what your favorite outfits are and what you particularly love having in your wardrobe what are staple pieces that you keep in your wardrobe for fall because it's always nice to share ideas <laughs> i will also be doing a vlog on this entire day so that will come up on sunday because i'm now filming fridays sundays and wednesdays so yeah thrice a week and if you guys want to know what lipstick color i'm wearing i will be sharing the new product drop in sunday's video thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video